As the world began responding to the global pandemic in early 2020, a nation state launched a malicious cyber intrusion campaign, large in scope and undetected for months. Russia's foreign intelligence service had created a backdoor in a commercial software used by governments and industries around the world. When unsuspecting users installed what looked like an ordinary software update, they unwittingly downloaded and installed malware onto their systems, giving the Russians the ability to access and steal information, as well as the potential to alter or destroy it. The SolarWinds breach exposed thousands of public and private organizations worldwide. While unprecedented, this incident is not unique. Our adversaries are operating with a scope, scale, and sophistication that is unlike any we've seen before. Their tactics have evolved far beyond spear phishing and exploitation of weak passwords. Today, our adversaries are targeting and infiltrating our systems by exploiting supply chain or zero-day vulnerabilities. They pose a critical threat to our nation and our allies. Defending against this threat is where we come in. I'm General Paul M. Nakasone, Commander of U.S. Cyber Command, Director of the National Security Agency, and Chief of the Central Security Service. Behind me is our Joint Operations Center, where cyber warriors from U.S. Cyber Command and the National Security Agency work side by side with U.S. and foreign partners to defend our nation in cyberspace. Here on this operations floor, talented teams work around the clock as part of a whole government approach to respond to adversarial cyber activity like the one I just spoke to you about. Cyberspace has created a new strategic environment in which cyber actors can increase their power, degrade the power of others, and gain a strategic advantage. From a lone hacker to violent extremist organizations to nation states, our adversaries are demonstrating a new risk calculus that has changed the traditional threat landscape. By operating in cyberspace, they can cause great damage without ever engaging in armed conflict. They target our economies, our critical infrastructures, and our electoral processes. They steal defense secrets, intellectual property, and personally identifiable information. They launch persistent malicious cyber campaigns to erode our military advantages. And they increasingly leverage social media to carry out influence operations. This is the new era of strategic competition, and the greatest competitive and aggressive threats we face are by two near peers. China poses the greatest potential threat to the U.S. and our allies. It's becoming more assertive economically, diplomatically, militarily, and technologically. It seeks to undermine a stable and open international order to establish its centrality in the global system. China is our pacing challenge. Meanwhile, Russia is a disruptive threat, seeking to undermine the integrity and legitimacy of our political systems. Russia has demonstrated its ability to conduct influence operations in numerous countries, often by combining effective target development with the power of social media. Moving forward, we expect these and other adversaries will increase their efforts in cyberspace to undermine U.S. and allied interests. These malicious actors will continue to identify vulnerabilities in software used across our governments, militaries, and private sector networks. They will embrace common anonymization platforms, generalized toolkits, and open source capabilities. Anything that makes it more difficult for network defenders to detect and attribute their activity. They seek to exploit gaps and seams between government organizations and authorities and they're able to gain and maintain access in a manner that mitigates detection and response. No matter how good we are, these challenges will endure and will only increase in both scale and scope. We must raise the bar, be resilient, and act. Our adversaries have worldwide reach. They integrate globally across domains, and the consequences of their cyber operations transcend international boundaries. It will take a unified effort, an international community working together to gain and maintain the competitive advantage in this transnational threat environment. Partnership is where our power is. Effective cybersecurity requires continuous engagement to seek advantages and generate opportunities. And partnerships give us the access we need for success. Here at Cyber Command and NSA, we work closely with U.S. government, private industry, academia, and international partners to achieve and maintain cyberspace superiority, build resilience at home, defend forward, 
and contest adversary campaigns and objectives. One way we do this is through Cyber Command's collaboration with international partners to conduct Hunt Forward operations. Hunt Forward was born from our collaboration with Montenegro. They were facing increased harassment from Russia since joining NATO. At Montenegro's invitation, our team traveled to Podgrica to investigate signs that hackers had integrated the Montenegrin government's networks and to hunt for Russian-backed malware on their networks. Working side by side with our Montenegrin partners, the team also saw an opportunity to improve U.S. cyber defenses against foreign meddling ahead of the U.S. 2020 elections. These collaborative operations defend and harden networks, systems, and critical infrastructure while yielding insights and intelligence that are invaluable to both the U.S. and our international partners. Through our Hunt Forward operations, we've inoculated millions of systems and reduced the effectiveness of the malware they've employed. Like Cybercom, NSA also has a cybersecurity mission. While NSA SIGINT mission exploits signals emitted by our foreign adversaries, its cybersecurity director produces keys, codes, and cryptographic devices that make it difficult for our adversaries to do the same to us. NSA's trusted partnerships with the private sector enable the agency to better secure sensitive networks. Thanks to our existing public-private dialogue, NSA quickly identifies and issues advisories on critical vulnerabilities in commercial software that potentially affect millions of users around the world. This enables Cyber Command to simultaneously take action to close the same vulnerabilities on our Department of Defense information network. When NSA issues a public advisory, it sends out an alarm that rings louder than a simple patch release ever could. Most users are aware that they should apply patches in a timely manner, but with updates being released so frequently, it can be difficult to know which ones are the most critical. NSA cybersecurity advisories often attribute nation-state exploitation of known vulnerabilities. This emphasizes the scale of the threat and motivates network defenders to take immediate action. By using social media to amplify these advisories, we have been able to reach an even broader audience. This enables us to build greater transparency and trust with our public and our partners. No one entity has complete visibility of malicious activity across all systems, software development, cloud environments, or network traffic. It's only through this kind of public-private collaboration in collaboration with our international partners that we continue to make it increasingly difficult for our adversaries to operate. Effective partnerships require people with extraordinary skills and a fierce dedication to mission. The combined talent of our worldwide partners is the greatest competitive advantage we have to confront these increasingly sophisticated threats. Organizations like the Center for European Policy Analysis provide us an invaluable forum for sharing ideas and developing talent. I'd like to thank SEPA and the U.S. Mission to NATO for their work in putting together this year's event and hosting the Hybrid Warfare Contest. Thanks also to our NATO partners for joining us today and to all the contest participants. I'm inspired to see so many talented individuals submit entries this year. You've tackled some of our most challenging areas, disinformation, cyber operations, autonomous systems, and energy security. Our ability to imagine the threats of the future is key to innovating solutions today. I'm grateful to you all for taking the time to apply your unique insights and expertise to helping our community find new solutions. Thank you for your submissions and congratulations to the winners and finalists. It's been an honor to speak to you and learn with you. Thank you.